that Ramadan is a month of empowerment. It is not just a month of rituals. It is not just a month of exercises. It is not just a month of sacrifice. It is not simply a month to listen to Quran or to stand in prayer or to fast. All of these things are the virtues and the characteristics of Ramadan. But it is the maqasid of these actions. It is the desired outcome of these actions that we need to ponder on for a moment. Ramadan is a month of empowerment. We are seeking mercy, forgiveness, and freedom from the hellfire. Either this is something we are given or something we are denied. If we are given that, it is given by authority. That's called empowerment. Ramadan is a month of discipline. As our young brother, Ayash, just recited for us, Ramadan is a month of discipline, a month of focus, and a month of concentration. Whoever is denied the benefit of discipline and focus and concentration in during this month about their life, the value of their life, about their family, about their society, and how to produce or to participate in a better world, this person has only went through the exercises. It is like a boxer who goes to the gymnasium and prepares for one year, but they never enter the ring of competition. Ramadan is a month of research and reflection. Ramadan is a month of making new resolutions about our lives. Ramadan is a month of creativity. Concentration and reflection making new resolutions about what I would like to do better this year than I did last year. And creativity, 